Hello, so we are back and today we will be solving the responder machine. So uh, I have already spawned it in task number one says how many TCP ports are open on the machine. So for that we will just get a root and run an MMAP scan. So dash p dash and then dash sc dash sv dash t capital t and a five and dash pn dash pn is to disable host discovery and dash t5 is to make the scan faster and then we will just i will just copy the address and run the scan okay so the scan has finished and we can see that there are three TCP ports so let's go and check if that is the answer and it is so when visiting the web what domain are we redirected to so for that we need to go to the web and so we just go to http to dot slash slash and the address And if you get this error, it's totally normal. All you have to do is just edit the etc hosts and add the IP address of the machine and then with one tap and then the direction in this case is unique.htb. All you have to do is just add that to the etc hosts and reload the page and it works just fine and that is the answer so which script language is being used on the server to generate web pages so if we go let's try and change something here for example the language we can see also here no right here that we are using PHP so that should be the answer what is the name of the URL parameter which is being used to load different language versions of the web page so we just saw this right here when we change the language if we take a look at the URL uh, for example let's change it to German we can see that the variable is called page and then that uses a file so that should be the answer which of the following values for the page parameter would be an example of exploiting a local file inclusion vulnerability okay so it's this one right here but we can check anyways so as you can see it does open the host the etc hosts from the machine and this is a local file inclusion and as when you go to one page you know so here it uses this for example the french one uses the french.html and so if we just put a file that exists this right here is just to go back because we don't know exactly where we are so we just go back a bunch of them and then uh, a route a directory uh, and we can see the the file So which of the following values for the page parameter would be an example of exploiting a remote file inclusion vulnerability? So it's this one right here. So here what you can do also is instead of writing this you just write equals and then your IP address you can just do IPA for example and so it's the tune zero interface 
and it's this one right here it depends you just have to copy the IP and put it there and then slash and you can put whatever you want it'll just write one two three and so it fails to open oops sorry it's 10 right here you know but we can just copy it and instead of that IP you just put yours mine it's 10.10.16.189 okay and so this fails this is this would try to run this file in our machine and that what what does ntlm stand for so that you just ntml Sorry, you just have to write like this Windows New Technology Lang Manager. So it's Windows New Technology Lang Manager. Well, let's just, just copy it and paste it. It's easier. Nope. What? Oh. Okay, like this new technology line manager task number eight which flag do we use in the responder utility to specify the network interface that is dash capital I responder is <coughs> is a is a tool that we can use now so you just have to dash capital I on your interface and then you just hit enter and that and this what will do is just start listening is like a man in the middle attack but it does this for you and so now it's already listening here and so all we would have to do is this right here we did before just reload it and we should get a hash or something else here is very important that your IP is well written otherwise it will not work and right here as you can see we got an SMB hash and so I will just copy the hash this is this right here and then stop this because I don't want no more and, and then I'll just
create a file with nano that is called hash.txt and I will paste the hash and then all you have to do is just crack the hash and for that you use this right here it's called John the utility is John Ripper is a it's a tool to crack passwords and so all you have to do is just uh, put a word list I will use the rock you like I'm not in in Cali or Parrot my my location is a bit long but in a but in a Cali or in a parrot um, installation the location sh should be just this one no a uh, use user share wordless rocky but like I'm not in there I do not have it. I had to install it manually and so that you just have to put the the file with the hash and it was very fast we have it just right here badminton is the password and the user is administrator and so now we have it all we need to do is we will use evil dash wing rm this is a tool that is used to get shells if you if it doesn't have any service like ssh or telnet that kind of stuff you can use evil wing rm if you have a user and a password and then all you have to do is dash i to sing, uh, put the ip then the target ip not this dash i i will just copy from here the ip address the ip and then dash u for the user is administrator with a capital i and then dash p for the password is badminton you hit enter and you should have a shell It takes a, a while and so now we are on Windows and we I will just list the files there's nothing in here so I'll just change my directory to users administrator and then type dir to see what's in the folder we can Dear desktop, I believe, but there's nothing in there. So I, I will move back to users, and now if we type there, we've got the administrator user, a public folder, and then a mic directory. So let's check in mic, maybe there is something. let's type there and we've just got the desktop folder so let's go there and then there and we've got the flag 
so like it is Windows we cannot use the cat command because it doesn't exist so we will type and then flag dot txt and that gives us the flag so I will just copy it and paste it in the wall later on meanwhile here there are several tools that take net slash response and try millions of passwords to see if any of them send generate some response one of one such tool is often referred to as John, but the full name is what? This is John the Ripper. What is the password to the administrator user? Badminton. We'll use a Windows service. EE. -E. Running on the box to remotely access the responder machine using the password we recover. What TCP port does it you listen on? So I'll just cut the MF scan right here, so it should end up in five. It should be port five nine eight five. and then we have the root flag we just pasted it and we <laughs> on the responder machine thank you so much for watching and see you in the next walkthrough